Hey everyone, Onyam here and today I'll be showing you how to um, remove Windows 7 and install Windows Vista or upgrade from Windows XP to Windows Vista. Um, and in this case I'm going to do a clean install of the operating system. So um, I have my USB over here, this black USB has over here. Okay, I have my USB in which is um, used to boot to the Windows Vista installation, DVD, CD, whatever installation setup. So now it's waiting, please wait. Um, it's not going to take that much. Okay, so Windows Vista. We're going to go ahead and click on Next. We're going to accept, accept. And this is a Windows Vista Service Pack 2. So uh, we're going to click on Next. And now we're going to choose our primary partition, we're gonna go ahead to drive options and we're going to format the partition. We're gonna go ahead and click OK. And why is it taking so long? It, it shouldn't take. Okay, now we're gonna click on next. And now it's installing the Windows Vista. First of all, it's going to, like Windows 7, copy files, expand files, install features, so updates and complete the installation. Um, copying files won't take that, that much time, but expanding the files will take. So I will cut it and I will be back when everything is done to see the rest of the setup. Okay, so it's been a while and now Windows needs to restart. It's going to restart now and there we go. Um, it's not finished yet. It has to do other stuff. So this is a bio screen and you're gonna notice right away um, that you see I'm not booting from my uh, USB because I haven't selected. I have to go through a boot menu but as you can see Windows Vista is loading up instead of uh, my Windows 7 splash screen. There we go, Windows Vista. And yeah, so um, I haven't booted from the USB now. I'm letting in here, but if you are from a C if you have a CD, um, you'll have to boot from the hard drive. And then when um, Windows setup uh, GUI comes back, you're gonna need to um, put the um, CD back. So, um, please wait while Windows sets up your computer. This used to take a while, this might take a while. I don't know, so I'll leave this here, I'll wait until the GUI setup and stuff, everything continues, my PC goes to restart, and I'll be back. Alright, everything is done, and now we have to set up uh, Windows. So, I'm going to type my username, of course, <laughs> and I don't really want any password now, I'm going to select the profile picture and I'm going to click on next. Um, the serial key is pre-configured there, uh, so I don't have to type it. And over here I'm going to type something. Okay, now we're going to select, let me just select this. I'm going to click on next. And... Uh, I don't know about... Um, Windows Update, I should have enabled this when I, uh, because soon I'm gonna, I might switch to an SSD. So I'm gonna use the recommended settings. And for me, it's GMT, I think it's plus two. Uh, and the time is not right, maybe it's plus one. So, um, the time is still not right. Let me just try minus one. You know what? Let me just let me just select this from five to go to four, and the other is right. So we're gonna click on next, and this is my home network. So we're gonna click on finish now, and it's going to. Get off the screen and then say welcome and then prepare on your desktop. And then um, the Windows Vista setup is pretty much done. So yeah, I would like to thank everyone for watching and I'll catch you all later. 
Until next time, see you later. Goodbye, buddy.